12 miles off the coast of Plymouth, is the iconic Eddystone Lighthouse. This collection of rocks has played a role in alerting local fishermen to the perils below for over 300 years. But beneath the waves, the site also marks the location of the marine protected area known as the Eddystone Reef. This area was designated as a special area of conservation, so it has special regulatory measures to make sure that the area is protected. I mean, it looks pretty beautiful here, but if you went beneath the waters, you would see a very different picture. Now, this has always been an area that, where a lot of bottom toe dredging took place. It can be really damaging for, for two reasons, really. The first is because of bycatch. Um, it just takes everything. So there's, there's an immediate damage. But there's also a really long-term damage. This big piece of metal just rips the, the seabed. That All of the very delicate habitat down there just gets taken to pieces. In 2014, the Marine Conservation Society really wanted to monitor this area. It's technically, scientifically and financially really difficult to, to do a project of this size. We, we had funding for the first part of the project and then the project was going to stop and it wasn't until Princess stepped in that we could continue the work here. Princess's involvement with the Marine Conservation Society started off with the Eddystone Reef project. This entire area is our home and so it's really important for Princess to be involved in the conservation of our oceans because there isn't enough focus on it at the moment. I think that monitoring programs are so important because that's what keeps people motivated and excited. Eddy Stone has got an incredible amount of life beneath the water's surface and we saw that from the divers that explored the, the reef today. Now under the watchful eye of the team, the reef is beginning to return to its former glory. The process of recovery will take 20 to 30 years, but we are starting to see signs of recovery. The data that we collect here will be used throughout the UK and actually throughout the world for people to understand how a marine protected area recovers. The fact that you can see the environment bounce back with immediacy towards these conservation efforts, I, I hope that it will encourage other organisations out there in the UK and beyond to focus their efforts as well. The ambition here is to pass this on to uh, the next generation and to understand that they can have a tremendous impact in a short amount of time. We know that it's a really long-term process, but just seeing the area thrive is, is really, really exciting for us.